So right now I am at the William W. Powers Recreation Area and it's a small park down way way down south from Chicago and uh, it was actually the site of an old Nike missile base and they actually had these Nike missiles the one they put on display looks pretty awesome but they had a I don't know how many exactly I'm gonna count when I get over to the base but uh, they had like probably around 20 of them in the ground facing straight up so we're gonna head down through those woods and go to the base site all right so we're heading back farther into the well, I see some sort of path. My Google Maps isn't working. I don't got signal out here, but I'm thinking this is it. Yeah, this is it. Oh, see the sidewalk? Nope. This is the complex right here. We are in it. Here are the remnants of what was once here. Ah, the foundations. Clear road. I mean, it doesn't get much clearer than that. So if you guys like seeing history, um, I went on historicaerials.com, it's pretty freaking sick. You could see uh, old aerials like the Google Maps view from straight above, and you can see that from uh, like the 80s and the 70s and the 60s. It even goes as far back as the 20s at sometimes. And that's what I used, and I looked, I think it was in the 60s, right here there was a bunch of buildings. There's one here, there was one over there, and just this was the facility right here and down that way is where the missile silos are and that's where we're gonna head and check them out imagine right here there could have been a we would be inside a building there's a tree here now but this was all top secret restricted zone we're just standing in it so I'm seeing these little yellow poles and my guess is that the, that's ventilation for the underground tunnels that are down here. Because this facility, it had to have had tunnels of some sort for the maintenance of the missiles and stuff and getting them up and down. But yeah. There's a few of them. There's one there. There's a, one, two, three. One more. We're at another foundation of what once was another building. It's a really big foundation over there. Must have been a Bigger building. Yeah, no, they completely tore this entire place down. There's nothing left. No, it's gone. That's crazy. All right, we just traversed the pretty big field. And some sort of curved foundation here. I don't know if this was a road or what. But, oh, here they are. I see one. This is where the missiles were. <gasps> oh, that's this one. Yep. If you remember the missiles from earlier, those are the ones that were here in the ground. There's some more over here. So yeah, these are, these. this is the site right here. These may well be the missile. These definitely are. They said they welded them up. But right here is where they would have shot straight out of the ground in the act of a nuke coming to Chicago. Another one over there. Yeah, a whole bunch of these they just had lined a up. Bunch. Wow. Look at this. Well, if one comes to Chicago now, there's not much we can do, unfortunately. <laughs> they're they're welded up. <laughs> there's actually more on that side as well. Yep, those are the missile. Here's the center. Those are the missile bays then. Oh man, look at this. It's all in a forest preserve. So if you guys live in Chicago or around the area. You can come check this out for yourself. I'm thinking that they filled these in with rocks and sand and dirt or something like that. Because they don't sound hollow at all. Call it the rock. But yeah, these were, these were missile holes. A little relic here, a little barrel. Oh, look at how that tree broke through the cement. Incredible. Looks like a structure was here. This could have been, I don't know, access, underground access. Yo, yo, come here. I think this is how they got underground. Look, it's filled with rocks, but right on the edges, you can see there's a way in. There's black. 
Oh, damn. Like they, they filled it in and then it's, it's starting to sink again. It's starting to settle. That could very well have been you it. See actually. that, guys? I didn't even notice that. See, look, whenever there's pipe. Oh, that's not a pipe, is it? What is this all? Kind of like pieces, ball bearings. Some sort of old machine. Light. Could have been. Oh, look at that. That's a glass light lens. Maybe these were the signals at each post. And I think from the air we counted 18 of the missile silos in the ground. May be wrong, but I think that's what it was. Best to get the guy an upper angle, you know? I'll be honest, there's not much physical substance here to no, see. But there's good history. It's excellent, rich history. It's crazy. It, it, anybody that comes here, they would just think, oh, it's a factory foundation or something like that. But there were warheads in here. Oh. Are coming down around Chicago, you'd be banking on this place. Yeah, this, this place is in the middle of nowhere being your this, salvation. This place gave people hope back in the like the Red Scare days and stuff yeah. like that. Soviets, they thought we were gonna get attacked by Russia. This was uh this was what they implemented to to calm the people down. They said we have got bases. We have got missiles to intercept. I think that's about it for this place. If you like what you saw, drop a like. Consider subscribing. If you are in the Chicago area, please check this place out. It's just cool. It's part of a nature preserve. Pretty you can, easy. You you park could, pretty close to the You could park too. close and just hike on up to it. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.